Okay, so good day everyone. We have another topic for mathematics in the modern world. Okay, so this is section 1.0 which is the Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so page 14 is check your progress 1. Okay, so take a look at your uh, module or your book on your uh, mathematics in the modern world. Page 14. Okay, so page 14. It says, analyze the given sequence. Okay, so analyze the given sequence for its role and identify the next three terms. Okay, so the next three terms is, or for letter A, we have 16. The next term is 32. The next, the third term is 64. And then the next is 120 okay so let's check and analyze okay so to become 32 we simply add 16 by 16 or we multiply 16 by 2 okay so if we add 16 to 32 it will become uh, add 16 to add 16 so we have 32 and then add 16 it will not become 64. So next, the other, uh, the other way is we multiply 16 by 2. If we multiply 16 by 2, the answer is 32. And if we multiply 32 by 2, the answer is 64. So that's the uh, sequence or the rule. Okay? So the rule is that we multiply uh, the terms by 2. Okay? So we have 1 to 8 times 2. Okay, so this is 1 to 8 times 2. 1 to 8 times 2 is equals to 2, 5, 6. The next, 2, 5, 6 times 2. And we have 2 we have 512 okay so 512 and then the next the next is 512 times 2 so we have 1024 okay so twice 2 1024 okay so our, our three terms is that this is 2, 5, 6 next is 5, 12 and the next is next is 1,024 okay A okay so A the rule for A is that let let First term is A, which is equals to 16, and the second term B is equals to 32, and if 32 divided by 16, that will become 2, and 64 divided by 32 is 2, so therefore they have a common ratio, okay? So this sequence of a number has a common common ratio. Okay, common ratio. Common ratio. Okay, so for letter A, okay, let's name letter A. Letter A. Is a geometric progression. This is a geometric. Okay, so this is a geometric progression. Geometric progression or geometric sequence or geometric sequence. Okay? So geometric progression is a sequence sequence of a number with common ratio. Okay? that is the geometric progression that is for letter 
a k so therefore letter a is your geometric progression but anyway we just uh, solve the the question is just to solve the next three terms but anyway we we have renamed the uh, name the progression next okay so let's analyze first term is one then the next term is one so what happened to one we add zero so one plus zero is one the next one plus one is two the next two plus one plus two is three and the next two plus three is five the next next is three plus five is becomes eight and the next term will be okay so again let's do it again so zero zero plus one is one and then one plus one will become two and then one plus two will become three and then two plus three will become five then three plus five will become eight and five plus eight will be our next number so this is five plus eight which is equals to 13 and the next number is the next number is 8 plus 13 and that will be 21 okay and the next we have 21 plus a uh, 13 plus 21 and that will be 34 okay so this sequence of a number is what we call now the Fibonacci sequence okay so this is pi bonasi sequence okay pi bonasi sequence okay well, let's write the sequence pi bonasi sequence that is 0 1 so 0 plus 1 is 1 the next 1 plus 1 is 2 and the next 1 plus 2 is 3 and the next is 2 plus 3 is 5 and next is 3 plus 5 is 8 just follow the cursor okay and 5 plus 8 is equals to 13 and the next is 8 plus 13 that will be 21 and the next is 13 plus 21 is 34 and the next is 21 plus 34 is 50 5. Okay, so that is the Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so therefore, our answer for letter B is we have 13, next is 21, and the next is 34. Okay, so that is for page 14. Check your progress 1. Okay, so let's discuss the golden ratio. What is the golden ratio? So Fibonacci sequence, as the sequence of a number uh, goes on and on, then it will have a, what we call the golden ratio. Okay? So the golden ratio is, the formula is, A plus B all over A. Say for example, okay? so let's say we have, we have 8, 13, and 21. Okay, so for A, 8 plus 13, okay, so 8 plus 13 is equals to, uh, 8 plus 13 divided by 8, okay, so divided by, divided by 8 plus 13 divided by 8. And this will be approximately equal to 1.618. Okay, so let's check. 8 plus 13 divided by 8. 2.618. Okay. Is that correct now? Okay, so that will be. 
uh, 13 divided by uh, 13 divided uh, 13 divided by okay, so 13 will be 13 either 13 divided by 8 or let's rewrite our formula so that will be 13 divided by 8 is approximately equal to 1.625 so this is approximately equal to approximately equal to 1.618 okay so let's rewrite the formula this is not the formula okay so the formula is simply b over a okay b over a in your page in your book page 15 okay so b over a okay so b over a or the next uh, next term divided by the uh, uh, given term the first term okay so for example the first term is 20 uh, 13 the second term is 21 so we have 21 21 over 13 and this is approximately this is the symbol for approximately okay so let's rewrite okay so approximately equal to 1.618 okay so that is what we call the golden ratio okay so let's solve uh, exercises set 1.2 page 16 okay so page 16 number 6 if you have a wooden board that is 0 0.75 meters wide okay why okay so let's draw the board okay suppose this is your wooden board okay so 0 0.75 meters wide how long should you cut okay how long you should cut cut it such that the golden ratio is observed okay So this where is the set 0 0.75. So this is 0 0.75. Okay. Suppose this is 0 0.75. Why this is your wide width length and width. Okay. So this is 0 0.75. This is your width meters. This is in meters. That is the width, and this is the length. Length, this is the length. So let's say this is x. This is your x meters. This is your width. Okay. Uh, this is the length, rather. This is the length. So, this is the length. Okay. So, by the formula golden ratio, we have. So, we have. Okay. So, the solution is. Okay. So, let's copy. Okay. Okay. The solution, this is your. A. And we have let's start. So we have this is your X X over over. 0.75 meters so multiply so we have so we have x is equals to 
zero point seventy five times one point six one eight. So we have <coughs> so multiply one seventy five times one point six one eight. So we have one point two one three five. Okay, so that's our answer.